<laughs> what are you cooking today? Right, today we have got a fantastic dessert for you, perfect for winter. We've got rice pudding, it's rich and creamy. We've got coconut milk in there and all these beautiful spices and we're going to poach some pears as well, which we can put on top. And you probably could have this for a dessert as well, or breakfast. Maybe. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen for a perfect winter dish, Mark. So we're making rice pudding and you're, you're steaming it because there's different variations, isn't there? Yeah, yeah we, we, well, we've got a little bit of a twist on it. So you can make a normal rice pudding. Like a lot of people just put vanilla in and that's great. You know, it goes really creamy yep. and, and thick mm. and lush and perfect for winter. But today we're going to spice it up a little bit. See how I did there? Yeah, Wonder. nice. <laughs> <laughs> good so we've got some spices what we're going to put in there. And you can absolutely, you know, you can put anything you want into a rice pudding. It's really good. And we're going to uh, poach some pears as well. Yeah. And then we'll just slice them and we can serve them on the top as well. You don't need to do the pears, you know, you can just have the rice pudding, whatever you want to do. So we're going to get it on the go now. Okay, let's get going. What do we need to do so first? So we're going to make the rice pudding first. So I've yep. got some milk, so yep. it's going to be our cooking liquid. Right, yep. so milk goes in there, a little bit of sugar. Cool. Right, and you give that, a, give that a good stir so that all starts dissolving. And then we've got some uh, rice. So you can, use some, you can use basmati rice if you want. You know, okay. that soaks it up, does it? Or the short grain rice as well, or right. pudding rice as it's called. So whichever one you want. You know, different uh, countries around the world do use different rices. So that goes in. And what we want to do now is bring it up to the boil and then we want to cook it really slowly. So turn it right down and you want to keep stirring it every now and again. And as it gets thicker, you want to stir it a little bit more. Otherwise okay. it will catch on the uh, base. Oh, I'll, I'll be in charge of this. Okay, cool. So it takes about sort of 30, 35 minutes or so. Okay, good. <laughs> so you have to like this. See you soon. Yeah. Right, so once it comes up to the boil, we're going to add a, a few spices. Yes. Uh, so a little bit of saffron. So this okay, is really flesh. nice. So th yeah, this goes really well in it. You don't need to do that, but you get you get a nice flavour from it, and you get a yellow tinge um, through the rice pudding as well. So it's really good. So try it. Yeah. You know, it works really well with sort of milk and cream and dairy, um, you know, as well as an, uh, savory food. Oh, nice. We've got a little bit of cinnamon as well, cinnamon yep. powder, that just goes in there. You know, you could use a stick as well. And then I've got some rose water as well. So that's like a, a, a rose essence. Okay. So a bit like Turkish Delight, you know, it's, it's the same flavouring in Turkish Delight, so you get that really sort of perfumed, um, sweet flavour. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to finish that off in there as well. You know, same again, you know, if you don't like it, you don't need to put it in, but it okay. works really well. Right. And then, so I'm just going to hold off with the coconut milk. So okay. we're just going to get the uh, rice pretty much cooked, three quarters cooked, and yes. then we're going to cook it in the rest of the, the rest of the time in the coconut milk, just to really bring that flavour through. Brilliant. Right. Now so, pears. Is it yeah, time to poach so, some pears? So we're going to get some pears in there. So I'm just going to warm some water. Yep. Uh, oh, and then we're going to um, we're going to start flavouring the water. So we need some more sugar. Okay. So we're making a sugar this. syrup. Yeah. yeah okay. So cool. that, yeah. Well, that's a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be more of a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting because in different countries, you know, different things. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, you know, there's no reason why you can't eat um, so sweet sort of in the morning. Right, a little bit more saffron in there, and that's going to give us a nice tinge again, nice flavour. It's going to uh, carry on the theme in the dish. Uh, and now we've got a nice selection of uh, spices. Oh, take us through them. What have you got? Right, so I've got some star anise. Yes. So that looks like that, so it's all dried. Um, so really sort of nice, uh, nice flavour from that. Cinnamon stick as well, that yes. goes in there. Cloves for a bit of sweetness and spice. Okay. And some um, cardamom pods as well. So they just go in there. So that's a really good sort of flavour. And what I like to do as well, what goes really well with rice is cardamom pods. So that's not in the oh, recipe, nice. but you can put them in. And that, that gives you a really, really good flavour. But remember to take them out at the end. Otherwise, okay. if you bite on them, it's just, you know, it'll Too put much? you off. Is yeah, it it's really, really strong, yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so this water's just going to fuse away here nicely. That's, that's looking really pretty, Yeah, actually. yeah, we're just going to stir it, bring it up to the boil, simmer it, and you'll get all those flavours. And then as long as you've got a good flavour and uh, sugar content and balance in there, your pears are going to taste amazing. It is smelling amazing already, so very excited. And we will show you the rest of this recipe very soon, straight after we catch up with Holly. We need to finish off this steamed rice pudding. And can I just say things... Are smelling incredible here. This is looking good. Are you happy with that so far, Mark? Yeah, so that's really good. So, you know, we've got a nice simmer on there. So the slower you cook it, the better it is. Okay. But you just want to cook it down. Keep stirring it, as we said, because the rice is obviously heavier and it's going to go down to the bottom and it can stick and burn. Okay, cool. And if you keep stirring it, you get a nice even cook. We've got our syrup up here, so that's just mm. come up to the boil. Um, we're just going to peel our pears now. Yeah. So, so that's what we're going to poach the pears in, but in the meantime, we need to prepare the pear. Exactly Prepare right. So, the pear. <laughs> so we've got to we've got to peel it. So it sounds easy, but here's a tip for you to make it look great: okay. is start at the top and follow the shape of the pear as you go down, and keep doing these sort of like one strokes at a time, and then you get all around to the other side, and then you've got a nice pear shape. You know. 
I mean, it does, it does sound a bit stupid, but like some people pair it, uh, you know, do it round and then, you know, you get a nice slice of pear and it doesn't look like a pear. You know? It's no, all about like, the presentation. No, that's, that's looking fantastic. And then cut them in half. Okay. Right, and then it's up to you now. You can either, you know, you can either leave it like this. Um, a little melon baller or Parisienne scoop yeah. or, um, is really good to take these out. But if you haven't, just get like a little teaspoon, dig it in, sort of curl it around, and you just take all the um, seeds out there. Okay. And you're going to leave the stalks on? Uh, yeah, no, you can leave the stalks on. That's great. That's presentation. You That's know. presentation. Hopefully, there you go. Hopefully no one will eat that. Yep. You know, if you don't want to, you can take it off. That's all good. Tell you what, this is smelling so good, I'd eat anything that was cooked in this so far, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Stalks and all. Right, and then if you've got like a little bit of the core, you know, you can just you can just cut that out there. That's all fine. Okay, nice. And then what we want to do now is we are going to um, pop the pears in. Yeah, because that is boiling away. It's yeah. all dissolved. So nice. bring it down to, bring it up to the boil, pop these in. And you want to work fast as well, because once you've peeled a pear, you know, the oxygen is going to get to it and it's going to oxidate and it's going to go brown. So you want to get it in the syrup as fast as you can. Um, if you peel in like, you know, about 10 pears or so, you know, peel them into a bowl, a bowl and uh, cover them with a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Okay. And that'll just help them, um, you know, slow down the oxidation process. Okay, great. And get them in there. Right, bring that back up to the boil mm -hmm. and then turn it down and we're just going to simmer it and then we're going to make a cartouche. A cartouche. What is a cartouche? Lucky you asked me. Right, that is, uh, so basically it's like a little, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a definition. definition. <laughs> it's just like a little round hat. Oh, okay, cool. Right. So what you want to do is get a bit greaseproof and you want to fold it. Oh, God, I've forgotten how to do it now. <laughs> and just, just sort of keep folding it together. And then you're going to get the tip of it, measure it from the centre. Yes. And then you're going to tear the rest of it off. Okay. And then you open it up and you get this nice round sort of bit. And then that just goes on top. Yeah. So leave a bit of excess so it goes up the pan. And then that just holds the pears underneath the level, or right on the level, and that uh, stops it going okay. brown, so that all the pear is there completely right. poached. Okay, so it's to hold the pears down, because I was like, why yeah. don't you just get a lid? <laughs> but <laughs> but right. it won't yeah. work for that purpose, no, that's will it. it? And uh, if you've got a few pears in there, a little um, uh, saucer in there on top will just float on top and just oh, keep brilliant. them under the level. Nice work. Right, so you can see the, uh, the milk's cooking down now. Yep. The rice is cooking, it's Smells thickening great. up. So this stage now, and coconut milk. Coconut milk, oh, yum and get that in there, and then you're gonna keep cooking it, and it's gonna cook, it's gonna go thicker. Got a little bit of the rose water now, I'm gonna put a splash in now so it's to, uh, to finish cooking, yes. so it perfumes it. Um, always at the end you can add a little bit more if you want that sort of fresher flavour. And then I've got a pan here with some desiccated coconut, and we're just gonna lightly toast it for a bit of a garnish after. Brilliant, okay, really excited. We'll see the finishing touches before the end of the show. And of course, the full recipe is on the cafe website, thecafe.co.nz. You're now over to Mark. Your dessert's certainly better than that ice cream, but it's not vegan, is it? No, no, this is the uh, non-vegan version. It's the opposite of. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's come out quite good, hasn't it? Oh, you're right it's about the little tinge of colors. Yeah, that's the coconut. Yeah, it's great. I love it. <laughs> and the saffron as well. Yeah, yeah it's just nice with the saffron. Oh, it, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a little tip for you as yes. well. If, it, um, if you put it in the fridge, it really goes really firm. So just add a little bit of milk to make it creamy. So, you know, eat it how you want to do it. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got our pan roasted salmon with coriander pesto and sauteed almond potatoes. Ooh.